in your phone, uh, in your phone, you will be able to find the word. Like for me, I've opened it as a teacher, but you will be able to find the word turn in here if you are using a computer. Then if you are using a phone, a phone, you always have it at the bottom of your screen. So you just click on the word turn in. You don't scan any work. So once you are typing this work, it is already, it is already saving. Hmm? Whatever you type, like if I type a Kenya Tony, it has saved. I type so and so, it has saved. So, and then you will just go and click the word turn in. Uh, that is using Google Doc. So it is very important and very, very easy for you. So it doesn't disturb you to scan the work, doesn't disturb you to, uh, uh, yes, scanning the work. Sometimes scanning the work, you don't scan all the, all the, all the words like that. So this is very good, uh, which I want you to, uh, to get used to it. I've seen it in RAE and we shall continue with that. Okay, so uh, members, I think that is enough uh, for now. Um, I just want us to go straight away to, uh, to our lesson. Uh, you know, it's already time and the majority of you are still joining, that is okay. Yes, that's fine. Um, we, when we are starting our lesson, we always start our lesson with the opening prayer and it is very, very important to ask for God's guidance, God to guide us through the lesson uh, so that we can complete our lesson successfully. So um, I need somebody here to, to lead us into the opening prayer. Mm -hmm. To lead us into the opening prayer, that will be good for us to begin the lesson. I always like someone to willingly put up the arms so that can lead us willingly. Yes, just like Julia has, has put up the hands, uh, Calvin, these are good people. Ivan, so let me select Ivan to lead us into the opening prayer. Yes, Ivan. Uh, can you lead us into the yes. opening prayer? Yes, lead us. Father, God, be thanks for this day. We thank you for the gift of life. I pray that you give us knowledge and understanding as we are going to be learning this lesson. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Ivan, for the prayers you have given us. Thank you so much. May God bless you. So, learners, um, once again, I want to welcome you. We have been uh, on the weekend, uh, Saturday, Sunday, we were not studying. So at least God has given us another chance for us to meet, for us to learn, for us to do something. Uh, that is really go uh, good, and we thank God for that. So um, I welcome you all, and for those of you who are joining us for the first time, I want to let you know that... Uh, this is Edify e-learning project. Uh, this project is sponsored by uh, Edify uh, Uganda. Yes. So um, yes. yes. So this is Edify uh, e-learning project. It is sponsored by Edify and implemented by ITAO, the ICT Teachers Association of Uganda. So for those of you who are joining us, uh, this is primary five, and we are going to be learning science. Uh, some of you, when you just join, I hear you have problems. Most of you say, teacher, which class is this? So this is primary five members, and we are going to be learning science uh, this afternoon. We are going to be learning science. Uh, my name is Akenya Tony. I teach science and mathematics in the primary level. I do welcome you all. And the, yes, this program is live on YouTube for those of you who are not 
able to join us on uh, on Zoom, you can just go and uh, look for Christian School Owners Association. You will be able to find the YouTube channel and you watch us or you follow the lessons online. So thank you so much. Uh, our lesson today is going to be, we are going to be talking about uh, exotic breeds of goats. Uh, remember, we are still under this topic of uh, keeping goats, sheep, and pigs. So we have started by looking at keeping goats. And already we have looked so far like two lessons into, into this topic. And today is our next lesson. So members, uh, let's look at exotic breeds of goats today. Yes. Um, uh, the date today is Monday, 27th September, 2021. And that is the day that we are going to learn about exotic, exotic breeds of goats. But before we go, I gave you some exercise. I gave you some numbers for you to do concerning what we had already learned. So it is important for us to go through this, uh, through this correction. So members, I hope you people, you are able to follow me. Okay. So in case you have any challenge, you can always put your concern in the, in the chat. And somebody who is asking for the Google Classroom link, I will be able to give you um, at the end of this. Uh, at the end of this lesson. So, and also it is important for me to write here P5. For those of you who are just joining, this is primary five. Yes, so let's go through what we learned last time uh, through the correction. And this was our first question, what is a breed of goats? What is a breed of goats? Yes, Calvin, can you tell us what we say breeds of goats are, Calvin? Breeds of goats are, are a family of goats having related and similar characteristics. Uh, very good, very good. So yes, um, then when we are answering question in science, we should also see how questions are set. If questions are set in a singular form, you should also answer your question in a singular form. If questions are set in a plural form, you should also answer it in a plural form. For example, this is what is a breed of goat. Then you can say a breed, you see, you can say a breed of goat or a breed is a family of goats having related and similar characteristics. This is what we said, that a family of goats. So we said we have uh, main two main breeds of goats are uh, two main breeds of goats that are having similar characteristics that are related in nature so can we name and that was our question too that name two main breeds of goats okay let me have someone here like joy yes joy can you give us one breed of goat that you know joy Joy, are you there? Okay, Joy is not talking. We can go to Omara. Yes, Omara. Can you name yes, two, teacher? Can you name two main breeds of goats? Local breeds of goats. Uh-huh. We have local breeds. That is good or indigenous breed indigenous goat. breeds uh -huh. another one exotic breeds of goats uh -huh. we have exotic breeds exotic breeds so exotic are put in the, in bracket foreign foreign meaning it is from outside uh, the continent in other words outside africa so that's why i'm saying foreign uh, breeds of goats so those are the two main breeds of goats. Then another question was asking that give another name. Give another name for local breeds. Can someone give us another name for local breeds? Okay, now this is the time you should be able to utilize your chat to give me the uh to give me the the answer. 
should be able to utilize yes. Like Jacinta has already given me the answer. I can tell her to tell us such that I can write it here. Yes, Jacinta, which answer did you write in the chat? Indigenous breeds. Very good. Members, another name for local breeds is indigenous breeds. So this is basically uh, the answer for number three. So we are just trying to go through this correction. Um, these are the expected answers for what you did last time. Uh, let's continue and we finish our corrections. Let's continue so that we can finish our correction. The next question is, I want a child here to read for us the next question. I want a child here to read for us the next question. This is our next question. Yes, Jacinta, you are still on. Do you want to read for us that question? Yes, teacher. You can read, you can read. Identify any two examples of local breeds of goats. Identify any two examples of local breeds of goats. Thank you. So members, you remember when we when we are looking at breeds, we define the word breeds. We talked about the two main breeds of goats and into detail, we talked about local breeds. We started by looking at examples of local, local breeds. And we gave very many examples of local breeds. So here they are only asking for two, two examples of local breeds. So let me see those who are writing it in the chat. Uh -huh. We have Macklin. I want you to come and tell us the answer you have written. Um, Macklin, can I get you? Yes, Macklin, can you tell us one of the examples? They are small in size. Uh -huh. Now, Macklin, the answer you are giving, you are now trying to tell us the characteristics of local breeds, that local breeds are small in size. Now, what we want to know here is, what are those breeds that are small in size? What are their names? They have names. They have examples of those goats that are small in size. Can you try to remember? Okay, so Macklin is giving us the characteristics, but here we want the examples of local breed. Yes, Sam, can you give us one, Sam? Mubende goat. Yes. Mubende goat. Okay. Cairo. to give us what he has written. Can you tell us one of the examples? Okay. Cairo. Uh, some of you are still listening from uh, uh, I know you have sisters who are also learning with the teacher Didas. <laughs> okay, so members, uh, Calvin, give us one. Calvin, give us one example. Yes, teacher. Give us one example of local breeds that we looked at last time. East African small goats. We have the East African small goat. Very good. That is one. Two, Del. Can you give us another one, Del? Yes, Del. Yes, teacher. Give us another example of local breeds of goats. Gola goats. We have the Gala goats. Can you say Gala goats? Gala goats. Very good. Let's hear from Nua. Yes, Nua, can you give us another one? There were many. Nua? Chigazi goats. We have the Kigazi, Kigazi goats. Very good. So we mention as many as possible. So we can just give two here. Uh, one of them we talked of Mubende goats, and another one uh, somebody talked about the Gala goats. So these are the two examples, but there are others. There are others like the small East African goats, uh, the Somali goats. Now, here is what my girl answered 
here they are saying state any two characteristics of local breeds of goats. So members, can you give me two characteristics of local breeds of goats? Let me hear from Eve. Yes, Eva, Eve. <laughs> yes, can you give us one? They are small in size. They are small in size, very good. Let me see the answer from the chat. Calvin still said the same. Okay, Gloria said they are small in size. Most of you are just remembering one answer that they are small in size. That is good, at least when you can remember something that we have learned. So they are small in size. Another one also we said they have different colors. They have different colors. So these are some of the, yes, uh, like Francis said it in the chat, uh, that is good. So members, um, that is what I gave you last time and uh, thank you for doing that correction. So we can go ahead and look at uh, what we are going to, what we are going to study today. So just as I told you that today we are going to be looking at exotic breeds of goats. So in this case, um, I want you to explain, we need to know the meaning of exotic. When we talk about exotic breeds, what does it mean? And secondly, we should be able to give some of the examples of exotic breeds of goats. Okay, so after giving examples, we can even talk about the advantages uh, because they have advantages. That's why people run to keep them. They have some advantages. They have some disadvantages. And even we can talk about their characteristics. Okay. So because we say these are breeds, they have, they have something in common. They have similar characteristics. So let's begin our lesson members. Now, I understand that some of you are having the book and somebody can even define for us the word exotic breeds of goats when when what do we mean uh, what do they mean when they talk about exotic breeds of goats what does it mean Esther, precious precious you can come on i see you put up your arm first yes what are exotic breeds of goats mm, you just wanted me to Okay, Bobby. Yes, Bobby. Exotic breeds of goats are goats which are imported, imported in Uganda. In Uganda for many years. <laughs> Thank you, my good girl. Eh? Thank you. Uh, she has a very good idea there. Um, let me see whether somebody has put the idea. Yes, um, uh, Alexander said exotic breeds are kind of breeds imported into Uganda from other countries. Very good, Alexander. Thank you for that wonderful definition in the chat. Alexander, can you come on and tell us what you have said? Alexander? Alex? Yes. What did you say in the chat? You have said something very good. I want to write that answer. Exotic bits are kind of bits imported into Uganda from other countries. Very good. So members, if the boy has said kind, kind means are types of breeds. The word kind means types. That these are types of breeds imported, imported. The word import means you are bringing it into your country. We don't say exported. When you are exporting, it means from your country to, to another country. But from another country to your country, you said you are importing. So when we talk about exotic breeds, exotic breeds are kind of breeds imported into Uganda from outside the country or from other countries. Now, members, it is imported into Uganda and other East African country. Imported into Uganda and other East African country. So we shouldn't say when I bring from Kenya, 
to Uganda. Kenya, they are also having these local breeds that we are having. Okay? But also once they get exotic breeds, they can get from other continent. For example, there are breeds that comes from Europe to, to Uganda. So people import them. And why do people bring them into the country? They are imported into the country because of their quality. They produce quality milk. They produce quality meat better than these ones of ours, better than the local ones. That's why people import them into the country. Now, let's try to give the examples of exotic breeds of goats. We have examples. There are very many examples of exotic breeds. These are breeds that are, that are imported into our country because of maybe their quality. One, others, they produce a lot of milk. Others, they produce uh, quality meat. Others, they provide us with the wool, like the more air that we talked about. So let's try to give the examples. I am dealing with the people who know like Omara Tendo, Winnie, they are giving very good examples. Now, Omara Tendo has contributed. Let me go to Winnie, has never contributed. Yes, Winnie, can you give us one of the examples of exotic breeds? Winnie? My friend Winnie, you are not there? You want me to give you a chance to another person? Yes. Okay. Yes, give us the example of exotic breeds that you know. Winnie? Angora goats. Aha. Uh -huh. Winnie said we have Angora goats. Very good. We have Angora goats. Let's mention them. Uh, let me try to keep writing whatever you are mentioning. Uh, let me try to keep writing whatever you are mentioning. I like that. I like that. Uh, this is from Winnie. This is from Winnie. I'm going to write it in the side way here. Winnie say, said Angora, Angora Gots. That is one. Good. Two. Can someone give us another one? Can someone give us another one? Okay, Julia. Yes, Julie. Let me come to Julia, my friend. Yes, Julia, can you give us another one? Ah, Julia, talk louder. We have. What have you said? Bogot. Bogot. The boa. Gots. Very good. The boa. You should see the spelling carefully uh, because in most cases people write this one with the letter A, but it is letter sun A. Sun God. Uh-huh, we have the sun, sun name. And God. The sun and God. God. Very good. I'm God. That, is, uh, God. that is enough. You are finishing for your friend. Uh, uh, let your friend also give. At least you have given two. Mm, you are finishing for your friend. Let me see the friends who have written also in the chats. Oh, <laughs> somebody is saying chinchilla rabbits. We are not talking about rabbits. We are talking about goats. Members, we are talking about goats. Can we say that we are learning about exotic breeds of goats? We are not learning about exotic breeds of rabbits. Okay, our subheading is there very clear that we are talking about exotic breeds of goats. And we said these breeds of goats are imported, are brought from other country into Uganda. So they are brought because of their quality. They produce a lot of milk, they produce a lot of, um, a lot of meat. Some of them provide us with it, more hair which we use it to uh, like for making jackets and so on. Yes, so people were giving me the examples. So far we have said we have Angora goats. Then also we say we have Boa goats and we have the Sunen goats. We still have some two that I want you to mention. Some two examples that I want you to mention. Let me try to check from the chat. Oh, yes. 
her. This friend of mine told me to rename her or him. I forgot. I yes. Um, I don't want to call you by your name, but you can come on if you have seen. Yes. How are you? How are you, my friend? Hello. I, I wanted to name you. I wanted to rename you. Uh, precious, you are the one who is talking. Mm. Eh, I got you. Okay, so let us continue. Yeah. I think, yes, my friend. I cannot rename myself. Uh -huh. What is your name so that I can rename you? Jo Josephine. Josephine. So, Josephine, you can give us also, um, give us another example. I've seen you have done it uh, in the chat. Josephine. Token I've bag already renamed you. Token bag goat. We have the Tongen bag goat. Josephine, is that the right name now? Yes. Okay, thank yes. you. Yes, thank you, Josephine. Josephine said we have what we call the Tongen bug goat. Tongen. Tongen bug goat. So these are the examples. We have Tongen bugs. And then the last one, the last one I can give you. The last Which I cannot one. see your screen. You cannot see my screen. Yes. Oh, sorry. I think uh, maybe network. Let me try. If very many people are not seeing my screen, then I will be able to restart. Eh? Okay. So, members, if you are not seeing my screen, give me the feedback on the chat. Okay. Give me the feedback on the chat. Yes, Sam. Do you want to give us another example of exotic breeds? Another example? Sam? Yes, teacher. Give us another example, the last one. Nubian goat. Very good. So uh, that one, majorly people call it angulu. Angulu, angulu. Nubian goat. Uh -huh. Angulu goat. Nubian goats. Now, I want to know whether and some of you are having these goats in your home. Do you have some of these goats? Some, do you have, have you ever seen them? No, they just taught us. Hey, they just taught you at school. Is there anybody who has ever, oh, if you are keeping these goats at home, I can even give you opportunity to put on your video so that we see these exotic breeds that you have at home. I can allow you to go to where they are keeping them. Then you put on the video so that people can see. If you have, you can tell me, teacher me, I have then I will give you opportunity. So members, these are the examples of exotic breeds of goats. So I have listed them also. Um, I have listed them also here. Number one, I started with the Tongen bug, uh, the Tongen bug goats, and then I went to Angora goats. Now these are the two, and I wanted to show you their uh, their, their, their picture, I have some of the pictures here for like Tongenberg. Uh, when you look at Tongenberg, um, we may not look at them in too detail, but Tongenberg are grayish. They are gray, grayish in color. Now, exotic breeds, they have the same color. If you have these exotic breeds of Tongenberg, all of them will look the same. Hmm? They are going to have that grayish brown color. And the, uh, in most cases, their horns are very short. The horns eh, here, if you look at their horns, you find that the horns are very short. The horns are majorly here, and you find that they are, they are short. So these are the, this is the picture of a Tongian bug. Now, when you look at the female one, the female one has a very big adder. Ada is here. And this is an example of a milk producing breeds. Tongenberg produce a lot of milk. 
So people will majorly keep them for milk production. Okay, so that is one. Then two, we talked of Angora goats. Okay, we talked about Angora goats and this is the picture of Angora goats. Uh, when you look at Angora goats, they have wool, they more hair. Huh? So it is, the, the, it is kept for, for more hair. So people get this more hair for like for making jackets, making um, sweaters. So that is got from Angora goats. So these are the two examples of exotic breeds. We can continue because we have mentioned many. Another one we also have, another one we have, we are still continuing. Somebody talked about the Sunen goats. Um, then we also talked about the boa goats and the angulo novians. So I have also the picture of the sunen. When you look at sunen goats, they are white in color. The sunen goats, they are white in color. They also have a very short horns, if you look at them. So we have the picture. This is the, this is the sunen goats. Sunen goats is also kept for, for milk production. Members, if a goat is kept for milk production, it does not mean that um, their purpose is only for milk. No, you can get other products from them. For example, yes, milk, it will produce a lot of milk more than any other, any other goats. But you can also get meat from them. But of course, you find their, their, their products, their goats that produce quality meat quality meat more than the sunen and, and the, um, the tongen bug. So also we have the boa goats. Uh, this is the picture of the boa goats. Now, some part of the boa goats is white in color and the neck, when you come to the neck here, the neck is, is brown. Mm? If you look at the neck here is brown. So this is, the boa goat. So you can see the parts here are white in color. Mm -hmm. And the boa goats, this is very good in producing quality meat. They are majorly kept for meat production. So if they asked you to give one example of meat producing breeds of goats, you can talk about the boa goats. And when they ask you to give one example of milk producing goats, you can talk about the sunen or the tongen bug. Then lastly, we also have Angulu Novian goats. Angulu Novian goats, for them, they are, uh, when you look at them, uh, they are white, they are red and black. So they have different colors. But what I mean here is, if you find the one which has this red color or black color, the, that family will be like that, okay? But what you can differentiate them with is when you look at their ear, uh, they have a long dropping ears. Their ears are dropping down. You can look at these ones. So these are the examples of exotic breeds of goats. Members, I hope you have followed the examples very well. And once they ask you to give the examples, you can be able to give the example. Members, can I hear from you? Boy. Yes, yes Okay, so these are these are the example. Now, those ones who are saying they cannot see the screen, let me try to remove this sharing and I come back again. Let me try to remove and I come back. So let me come back. Aha. Uh -huh. Now here, are you able to see the screen now? For those of you who are not seeing the screen, can you now see my screen? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so no. members. No. Okay, members, having looked at the examples of having, thank you. Having looked at the examples, you can even hear that some of you are having challenge of network. So having looked at these examples of exotic breeds of goats, 
they are majorly five. Now, what I want us to look at is the advantages of keeping exotic breeds of goats. They have advantages. They are advantages of keeping these exotic breeds of goats. I want you to be thinking about the advantages, okay? Let's try to think about the advantages. What are the advantages of keeping exotic breeds of goats? So let's look at that. Okay, so we have there the subheading advantages of keeping exotic breeds of goats. What are the advantages? I want us to discuss this together. I want us to share this together. Yeah, because I see some of you are already writing it in the chat. Like Winnie is giving me a very good answer in the chat. Calvin also is giving. Now, so these answers are very correct. These answers are very correct. Uh, for you who are putting in the chat. Let me try to also hear from those who are just going to talk. Um, I have some of you like Kranima is not connected into the audio. Uh, let me go to Othieno, John Peter. Yes, Othieno. Uh, also, you have not connected your audio. So I understand some of you cannot hear us because their audio is not connected. Let's go to... Uh, uh, Katrud, yes, Katrud, can you come on, Katrud? Katrud, give us one of the advantages of exotic breeds of goats. Katrud? Yes, teacher. Can you, can you try to suggest one advantages of keeping exotic breeds of goats over, over the local one? Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. You're completely right. Mm, I, I have picked Ketru Dole to talk to, talk to us. I don't know how to. Ah, my friend, you are not talking to us. Uh -huh. For income and for meat, Milik. <laughs> yes, thank you. I like those suggestions that you are giving in the chat. I like them. At the end, we shall come up with a correct answer. Let's try to hear from Calvin. Yes, Calvin, give us one. One of the advantages. Some are used for milk for milk production. Yeah, now to put that answer in a better term, eh? to put that answer in a better way, Calvin, are you still there? Yes, teacher. You can say they produce a lot of milk and meat. Are you getting? Yes. That is one of the advantages. So if you need milk from goat, then you go and keep the sun and goat and the tongan bag. Those are the two that produce a lot of milk. And then when you need the one for meat, go and keep the boa goat. So one of the advantages is that they produce a lot of meat and milk. Very good. Very good from Calvin. Calvin, I hope you have got how to frame that answer correctly. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Let's go to another person. Let's go to another person. Another person here. We have um, Ankunda. Yes, my friend Ankunda. Can you give us another advantage? Ankunda, please. Yes. Oh, my yes, friend. Oh, welcome. my friend, you're welcome. <laughs> You give me the advantage. You give me the advantage of keeping exotic breeds. But Ankunda, why do you use two phones when you are together? You should do sit far away from your friend because you will be hearing that echo when you put your uh, your audio on. Okay, let's hear from another person. I want somebody who has never said anything in my class, like Bruno. Yes, Bruno, can you give us another one, Bruno? Yes, teacher. Another, what do you think are the advantages of keeping exotic breeds? They, they produce a big amount of meat. They produce- And more hair. And more hair, very good. Very good, produce a large amount. So that's why we say they produce a lot of meat and milk. Very good. Produce a lot of meat and milk. Very good. 
Any other person? Oh, we are just giving the one answer. Francis, Francis, can you also try? Francis? Yes, Francis. Teacher? Yes, please. I, I was going to do it. You see, for you have started asking for something else. Okay. Okay, so let me give you some of the advantages. I can see some of you are writing in the in the chat, but you are mixing up the advantages and the disadvantages. One, uh, once you're keeping exotic breeds, they grow very fast. That is the first answer that I expected from you. When you look at, when you are keeping exotic breeds and someone else is keeping uh, local, uh, local, local breeds, you find that the person who is keeping exotic breeds, his breeds, his goats are going to grow very fast. That means this person is going to have like, uh, in one year, you find yours has grown bigger than those local breeds. And once you take them to the market, people like buying something which is big, not the small one. That is one. Two, another advantage is that they fetch a lot of money because they are big in size. They, they fetch a lot of money when sold. So when you are going to sell them, people are going to consider the, the size. And then when you look at the size, people will say, ah, this is, um, this one has, is too big. So how much? You can even sell it at 1 million. How about when you compare to your local breeds that you are keeping? You get it. So that is another one. They produce tender meat. They produce tender meat. Okay. So when you look at their meat, okay, when I talk about tender meat, hmm, that meat is really, really, really very good. Hmm? They have the beef, which is very, very good. Soft, eh? where when you cook, you find it's very delicious. So that is what they are saying here, that they produce tender meat. And then also you can talk about that they produce a lot of meat and milk. They produce a lot of meat and milk. So these are some So these are some of the advantages of keeping um, these are some of the advantages of keeping exotic breeds over local breeds. So you will find that they are going to grow very uh, very fast. Okay. Okay, so members, I hope you are able to follow me. Somebody is saying that uh, my network is breaking. Okay, so most of you have been giving me these answers also in the, in the chat. Now, remember, everything has the advantages and the disadvantages. Everything has the advantages and the disadvantages. So what do you think are the disadvantages of keeping exotic breeds? Okay, what do you think are the disadvantages of keeping exotic breeds. Now, advantages, we have seen that they, they grow very fast, they produce tender meat, they produce a lot of milk, they fetch a lot of money when sold. So what do you think are the disadvantages of keeping exotic breeds? Let me hear from some of you. They are very delicate, that is one of the answer. Murunji is saying, I know the answer. When you know the answer, put for me the answer in the chat so that I can be, I can be able to, to read just like the way I've read this one. But you can tell me the answer that you know. Murunji, can you give us one? They are yes. very delicate. They are very delicate. 
that is from Runji. What do you mean when you say delicate? What's the meaning of delicate? My friend, are you there? What yes. Did you do? Yes. What does it mean when you say delicate? They can easily get hurt. Mm, they can easily get harmed. Eh? Yes. Okay, that is from my friend that they are very delicate. Very good. So meaning keeping them is not an easy thing. Okay. Now you can frame that answer in this way that they are not resistant to diseases and worms. Because once they are they are attacked by diseases, since they are delicate, they can easily fall sick and die. Okay. That is one of the answers you can give. They can easily be. Ah, Daniela is saying they grow slowly. Are you sure? When we are saying there that they, they grow very fast. Maybe let's hear from Jesse. Yes, Jesse, can you give us the answer? Jesse? Yes, Jesse, can you give us the answer? They are expensive. Very good. They are expensive to keep. You add on that word. They are expensive to keep. Because these, 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 these animals, these exotic breeds, they need a lot of water. They need a lot of quality pasture. So that means you need to go and look for water and good water, safe water. You need to give them a quality, quality feeds. So that is why our friend here is saying they are very expensive to keep. That is one of the best answer that our friend has given. Any other person? Hmm? From Dell, they eat too much food. <laughs> that is true. They eat too much food. They eat a lot. That is very true. Hmm? Okay, so members, let me try to go through those answers that you have been writing in the chat. One of them, our friend said, they are expensive to keep. Um, another one, most of you are repeating the same answer. From Maxwell, they are not easy to take care of. That is why we are saying they are expensive because taking care of them needs a lot of money also. The second point we can say is, can we read that? Yes, read that point, members. Okay, Jerome, can you read that point? Jerome, Eve, can you read? They are not resistant to worms and diseases. They are not resistant to worms and diseases. So when they are attacked by some diseases, which we are going to look at the diseases ahead there, you find that they are very weak, so they can easily die. The next point also we can say, uh, they cannot withstand harsh weather conditions. They cannot withstand harsh weather. Now, harsh weather here is when let's say it is too there is, there is too much sunshine you find they cannot withstand like our local breeds secondly how about if there is too much rain and you leave rain to rain on them you find that they are going to be affected that is why they are saying they cannot withstand harsh weather so those are some of the disadvantages then the last but not least they need special feeds to produce better products. Okay? They need special feeds to produce better product. Now, when you look at our local breeds, remember our local breeds, we say they feed on almost every type of vegetation. But if you look at the exotic breeds, they have their special feeds that you give them. So they are not just going to come and eat your banana peelings. They are not just going to come and eat the, the leftover, uh, like you peel the, 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 the cassava peelings. So these ones, you must have 
special feeds to come and give them so that they can produce for you better products. So these are some of the disadvantages of local, local breeds. Now, they can ask you these questions about disadvantages, about advantages, but also they can ask you to give the characteristics of local, I mean, characteristics of exotic breeds. Characteristics of exotic breeds of goats. That one is the last thing that I want us to look at. Now, I want you to give me some of the characteristics. Okay, this local, these exotic breeds, what are the characteristics that they have in common? What are they? Uh -huh. They are big in size, that is from an Aine. Okay, Aine has already given us one answer, which we are going to look into the. Okay, yes. Any other person to give us? Any other person? This is where we are going to summarize. I want you to be giving me some of the characteristics. Let's go to uh, Manon. Yes, Magnon. Magnon, I don't know whether you have written your name properly. Yes, Magnon. Can you give us? Oh, I see very many ants coming up, but they, they are not coffee. Yes. They grow fast. Uh-huh. They grow faster. Or you can say they mature quickly. Remember, we said it in the advantages there that they grow very fast. So they mature quickly. That is good. Joseph, another one. Joseph. They produce high quality meat and milk. They produce high quality meat and milk. They produce more meat and milk. Very good, Joseph. Noah. Noah. Another one. They are not resistant. They are not resistant to diseases. They are not, not resistant so. to harsh weather. Very good. They they can easily be affected by ash weather. Very good. Uh, yes, Bana, Ben. Resistant. Ah, you have already contributed yours. Now I want another person from Ben Shasa. They produce high quality milk. They produce high quality milk. Very good. We go to Xavier Francis. Yes. They have specific colors. They have what? Special colors. Oh, this ones they have this. They, they have the similar. They have the same colors. It is it is local breeds that has different colors. But for exotic breeds, if you are talking about a specific exotic breeds, like if you say Tongen bug, you find Tongen bugs. They have the same color. For example, they are all. Uh, grayish. I told you. I showed you the color. They are they are always grayish brown. So you find under that family of tangent bugs, they are all grayish. Then when you come to the the sunen, the sunen they are white in color. So if you are keeping exotic breeds sunen, they will be white in color. So they have the same color. Are you getting Francis? <laughs> Uh -huh. We go to Joel. Yes, Joel. Another one. Joel. They, they fetch a lot of money when sold. They fetch a lot of money when sold. That is good. Jesse, you have already spoken. Let's go to Daniela. Yes, Daniela, can you give us another one? Daniela? Mm -hmm. They... They are not resistant to diseases. They are not resistant to diseases. Very good, Daniela. So members, you can see that you can form your own notes. And I'm going to be writing what you have been giving me. So you can see that. You can easily form your own notes. Hmm? So um, let me hear from Salom. Let me hear from Salom. Yes, Salom, can you give us another one? 
Yes, teacher. Hey, give us another characteristics. People are giving. I'm seeing even a lot in the chat here. Okay, so members. Um, they grow very quickly. They grow very they quickly. Grow very quickly. Thank you. So these are the characteristics that you have been giving. Number one, uh, they need a lot of attention and care. Exotic breeds need a lot of attention and care. Unlike local breeds, local breeds, you can even leave them to graze freely. Some of you don't even take water for them to drink. But with exotic breeds, they have the time if at one they are going to drink water, you make sure you give them that attention. The time you give them fee uh, feeds, the time you feed them, you should make sure you give them. So they need a lot of attention and care. The second one also, which you have also talked about, some of you are saying they grow very quickly. That is good. Here I've also used the word mature. They mature quickly. So once they are produced, you find they within 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 a month they have already grown more than this these local breeds, and then another one also you said you said they produce more meat and yeah. milk. Some of you were using the word quality meat and milk. That is good. That is the correct answer. Okay. So um, then the next one also the next one also we can talk about they need good pasture now they feed what we feed them with we call them pasture so they need good pasture and a lot of water to drink pasture is the feed that is given to these to these animals like the grass that you give them they are called pasture so for exotic breeds they need quality one they don't just eat anyhow okay then another point, another point which you have also said, somebody said uh, they are not resistant to ash weather. So here I'm saying they are easily affected by ash weather condition. So once there is a lot of rainfall, you find these animals are easily affected. Once there is too much sunshine, you find they are easily affected. So. Uh, these are some of the characteristics. And then somebody said they are not resistant to, to diseases. That is very true. We can also name it here that they are less resistant to diseases. So members, these are some of the characteristics of exotic breeds of goats. Now, in our lesson, we talked about exotic breeds of goats. We explained the meaning. Secondly, we gave the examples of exotic breeds and I've shown you some of the pictures and we talked about the advantages and disadvantages. Then finally, we looked at the characteristics. So this is where we are going to end for today. This is where we are going to end for today. But before we end, I just want to let you know that somebody asked for the Google Classroom code. Somebody asked for the Google Classroom code. Um, this is our Google Classroom code. Uh, let me try to underline it. Uh, if you need Google Classroom code, this is your Google Classroom code, primary five. So you can copy this so that you can be able to join. There's somebody who asked it at the beginning. And then another point is, uh, you are going to find this work uh, in this Google Classroom. These questions, you are going to find it there. Uh, these questions, you will find it there. You okay? This question, you will be able to get it there. But we can answer them now. You can just try to give me so that I see whether you have been following. The first one is mention two examples of exotic breeds of goats. Is there anybody who is ready to answer for us that? Yes, Francis, can you give us the examples of exotic breeds of goats that we looked at? Angora goat. And then another one? Sanen goat. Sanen goat, very good. Jesse, apart from those two that uh, Francis has given, Jesse, can you give us other, other two? 
Jesse. Yes, Jesse. Anani goat. We have Anani goat. Ah, Anani goat is a is a female goat. Mm, the female goat is called Anani goat. But now we are looking at the examples of exotic breeds. Examples of exotic breeds. Where Francis said we have the sun and goat and the, and the Angora goat. How about you, Mugisa? Sun on the sun and goat. You say sun and goat. So here they are saying give three advantages of keeping exotic breeds over local breeds. Give three advantages of keeping exotic breeds over local breeds. Who can give us that? Who can give us that? Can you can give only one? Yes, Del. Can you give us one, Del? Yes, teacher. Can you give us one of the advantages of keeping exotic breeds over local breeds? They grow very fast. Very good. They grow very fast. More than these local breeds. That is, uh huh. Daniela, can you give us another one, Daniela? Daniela? Um, yes, teacher. Give us one of the advantages of keeping exotic breeds. Yes, Daniela. They give us milk and meat. Uh -huh. They produce a lot of meat and milk. Thank you. So members, let us leave it there. You are going to find these questions in the Google Classroom and you make sure you, you answer them. Remember, I'm going to set it in a Google Doc. You will just edit it. You don't need to copy it in your book and scan. Just type it from there. Whether you are using the phone, you can be able to type. So otherwise, thank you so much. May God bless all of you. Um, this lesson was made possible with the funding from Edify Uganda, organized by Christian School Owners Association and implemented by ITAO. So I request now someone to lead us into the into the closing prayer. At least let's close with a prayer. Okay, let's have a closing prayer. Yes, uh, if you are ready to pray for us, you can put up your arms. I will be able to get you. Okay, very good. Joel, can you pray for us, Joel? Yes, let's humble ourselves for praying to God. Our Father who was in heaven, allow be thy name, thy kingdom come, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Is that in the book of Tejan, but deliver us from evil. For you is thy kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all now and forever. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Joel and Junior. Yes. Okay. So members uh, can say bye bye to you. Bye. Bye, bye, teacher from Nuwa. Bye, 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 teacher. 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 Bye, teacher.